Hi there, in this video I'm going to discuss uh, a new situation having to do with a ramp that is accelerating and a block that is dynamically held in place. And well, let's just jump right in. Okay, start off with a picture as usual. You have your ramp. And this ramp, just so we know, is 30 degrees right angle right there. And the ramp is accelerating in this direction. So the ramp itself, everything that's in black, is accelerating. Now, our cube. that weighs a hundred kilograms say is sitting right here now I know you're thinking oh this is the same as a lot of those friction problems and let's just make it a little bit less complicated and say that the friction factor is zero or it's a smooth surface so that that way we know that the force of friction is equal to zero so it's almost it's like saying that this is sitting on ice it'll slide right off so the first step in any dynamics problem should be a free body diagram just to get your head around it and I'm gonna draw the box right here you have your this is your free body diagram. And what you realize is that I'm going to keep the same coordinate system, the traditional one, this being W. You have your N, which is going to be shooting in here. And you know that this, that it sits at a 30 degrees so we know that that's 30 degrees and that's the only forces that are being placed on it there is no force friction so then we have to say okay well if the equation is F equals MA then we don't only need the free body diagram, but we need the acceleration drawing, like a, a, an acceleration diagram, or a motion diagram, or a kinematics diagram, whatever you want to call it. So literally I just draw a sister drawing, and I say, well, assuming that this is the center of mass right here, acceleration is to the left. And there you go. All is well. So one thing that we should um, definitely do is we should solve both in the x and y directions. Please note that the x and y directions are as so. x and y Okay, so we should solve the free body diagram for, let's say, y direction first. Well, if we look at the y direction, you can tell that this n can be broken up into both y, so I'm going to call n y, and nx so you could say that the only thing resisting the weight of this block is the ramp itself which would make sense so we know that w equals ny how do we know that the way we should actually equate it is saying W 
minus ny equals the acceleration in the y component, which we know that there's no acceleration in the y component. We know that this is zero, so that's why I'm able to toss this guy on the other side of the equal sign, which results back here. Since there's no acceleration, you know that in the y direction, you know that it's like a statics problem. And that's not too difficult, so you know that that equals that. Well, what about in the x direction? We know that nx is equal to mass acceleration x because that's the only things that are going in the x direction. So we know that nx, this, por this portion over here, this portion over here equals mass times acceleration, just following the, the Newton's law. So nx is equal to n sine 30 degrees which as you can see nx equals n sine 30 degrees so we know that we need to find out what n equals we know that n can be solved through other means found in the y direction just above you know that w equals ny which equals n cosine 30 degrees when you solve for that mg equals n cosine 30 degrees basically you get n equals to 1132 degree or newtons you could round up it should be 33 I'll just make it 33 and when you plug this guy back in here you can solve for nx and I'll just do it in cyan 1,033 sine 30 and that'll equal 566 newtons. And then, let's just recall that now that we have n of x we know that n of x equals your mass your mass times acceleration in the x direction so when we solve for that and I'll solve it in red right now you should have 566 equal to mass which is a hundred times AX simple math problem AX is equal to 5.66 and meters a second squared very simple so anyway the key thing is to set up your coordinate system to what would solve as many problems as you can. Notice how I kept the original coordinate system and I could just quickly solve the y components really quickly. Anyway, in time you'll learn all the tricks. Uh, let's just move on to the next video.